in a good mood. Hey, and I can see you. Hey. Din, 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 din. Hey, Rakas, welcome back to your number one rugby podcast. It's 2024, Rakas. I know it's new you, it's new me, new goals. But our family stays the same in this cozy corner. It's Lula Bet. Hey, the people that keeps us live in the air. And also brought to you by Roy Westman. Hey, trying to keep Martin Lawrence, Will Smith, trying to get the boy at post. Four. Uh, 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 four. Uh, 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 not, not really, not really, not seat really. Beyond, seat beyond, seat I'm Juan the Young, and next to me is the one and only. Here we go. I am short. <laughs> I am round. And and I am bounce. Rudy Page, guys. <laughs> welcome to Behind the Rock, welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Party, you good, eh? I'm hey. fantastic. I'm fantastic, party. Mm. Um, brilliant festive season, yeah, family. Yeah, I enjoyed um, it as well. Obviously, the Body year. recovered now. Is those knees recovered? Yeah, the, the, the knees are fine. Yep. We, we're feeling good. Um, fantastic time with the family. Yep. Where were you? Um, Where were you? Talk. We were in the Viscus and I was in Heidelberg, Heidelberg. for Christmas. Mm, Got back, um, obviously, last week with an episode for Wadey. But it feels still it still feels weird. It My feels body weird. is still on holiday. It's still on holiday. My body is still on holiday. But I want to give all my love, all my shout out yep. to the Rakas in the Viscus. Okay, mm. guys. Ah, oh, yeah, they know. Edinburgh, the mens again. Okay. BTR, it's it's moving. It's slowly but slowly. The Rakas are around to the grieve. Oh, shit. The Rakas. And they know a little bit. Eh? I notice you and I appreciate you. Okay, yeah, Rakas. Yeah, yeah, we love you. We love you. The eh? mens are praat yeah. van you. No, van wie? Van, van you. you. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, my holiday is actually, I enjoyed it. But it, all good things come to an end day. Eh? Okay. But I'm back at work, eh? Things have started for me. Um, so, yeah, looking excited for the year yet. Okay, I'm going to work with some fantastic coaches and when the youngsters and the guys come in in a couple of weeks, so we're pre- pre- prepping for that. So, uh, exciting times that's coming ahead, but also enjoy that. I was also within Arniston. Do you know Arniston? Aganiston. Uh, Arniston. Arniston. Yeah. Okay, where Warne, is that? Warne is Kranz. Oh, Marl yes, to Blanc. Uh, yes, 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 for sorry. You guys <laughs> remember Marl to Blanc, Sieven de Is that where you Sieven de Laan. Sieven de Laan. Was it? I go only okay. No, no. Oh. Petulia, golden yeah. money. Okay, yeah, not, not really. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so fantastic, fantastic. I enjoyed it with the family. So excited to be back home. Hey, yeah. back cracking on and things must move. Um, to mm. all the kids that are going to play under Juan, yeah. I want to wish you all the best. Hey, it yeah, might be yeah, tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, uh, I'm a he nice gets, guy. He, he is a lot. Huh? He is a lot. And it's excited, so that's double trouble yeah. for you guys. Okay, D- don't worry, guys. Only in the studio, only in the studio with this guy. With this guy. So all the best <laughs> with yeah. my partner. Uh, partner, yes, talk to me. Um, ready for what's the lineup? Talk to me. What's happening? The eh? lineup is pretty simple. Let me get my book of truth. Yeah, let yeah, me rag- get the rugby slowly but surely moving. Eh? Yeah, mm. it's an exciting weekend. Obviously, rugby is in full flow, and yep. it's obviously weird that we've got rugby over the fest of time. Mm. But I must say, it was quite nice. Yeah, it, it was, was good to see. And the crowd that came out, it was ra- 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 I mean, it's a couple of for round eight, it was 135. Yeah, the the, the thing just took the obviously DHL stadium over. Uh. But for today, the, the, the lineup to partner is quite mm-hmm. easy. It is easy. It is. Mm-hmm. We got news. There's a tiny bit of news. Yeah, good Something news. Hopefully, good, good news. news. Yeah. I think it's good news. We're gonna talk about the sharks and the lions, guys. Unfortunately for the sharks fans, sure. we got to cover it. Huh? It is our duty as a show and as rugby guys to talk about the it. The elephant what? in the room. The elephant in the room. Yeah, we okay. gotta cover we'll, we'll, we'll it. Okay. Cover it. Yeah, yeah. Then we're gonna have a lovely interview. Mm? Okay. We got a guest in the show. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got. Uh, so we yeah. always have someone in the show mm. in the house. Okay. Always a big Our word, doors but yeah. are open. Okay. To everyone. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So we got chat. A Robert Dupria. Yes. Is it that one? Hey. Oh Esther. wow! Nice. He's in the cup. We got him. We locked him in. The oh, first they playing here. Yeah, the Stormies. Yes, the Stormies. Uh, so Robert teams, Dupria. Yeah. Mm. Gonna be on soon. Okay, okay guys. nice. Then we're also gonna cover some fixtures. Mm. We've left the URC. And we're into the Investec Champions Cup this that, weekend. That 21 games, the yeah, weeks. Uh, uh, Rakas, uh, don't worry. I'm also confused. Uh, as, 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 too as, much. As, as dan yetos mains and dan yetos dessert. <laughs> Ek weet die waak. Is It's not okay. time for the family. But, uh, wifey squad. Uh, but this rugby. weekend, we're going to cover the Champions Cup games fixtures. Okay, mm. it's coming up. And then as always, as per always, beauty moment of the week. Huh? Yes, and this one, this Lawrence? week is going to the Gautengers. Okay. Oh, have you chosen that week. one already? Yes, I've done it. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Easy. It okay, was yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was beautiful to see, especially the last two minutes. Don't, don't and spoil it. it. Okay. Seat belt. Okay, last first two. Okay. Seat belt. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. He's lost. Yeah, lost yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a new year. So that's the lineup yeah. for this episode. Mm. No, 100%. So, Pari, let's yeah. let's quickly let's let's start with the news. With the um, news, yeah, it's been a yeah, couple of stories, some positive and negative. It's good to see um, the pointless. Is is changing codes? Is area codes? Point, is it, is um, it sevens now? 
Yeah. Um, it's looking is looking good from social media and stuff. And to, yeah, you know, I, I would love to be in France now, you know, with Ingrid. But yeah, it's looking good. And I and I and for me personally, I think he is gonna he's gonna buzz. That's gonna be that's gonna be a a, a coach. Sevens is looks like it's gonna fit him nicely. I think he's gonna dominate that that sport eh? just by the way he plays, by the way he moves, the skill he has. So we'll have to see what's going to happen when and, it comes to And you will play probably in that sweeper role that you guys always talk about, yeah. right? Yeah, I think he will play sweeper and he will also cover the 10 position. Okay. The season maker because he is, you know, he's a goat. Hmm? Mm. He's a goat. They can also do. Hmm? Adapter. So guys, mm. Rakas, Antoine Dupont has joined the Sevens, France Sevens team. Yeah. Huh? Not good. other news? Yeah, there's a couple of changes. Have you seen the swap? Huh? I saw the swap. Yeah. Um, um, Cornell Smith and uh, Samalani um, swapping the bulls. Yeah, we're shaking hands. You know, we're sharing. Sharing is caring. They say. Yeah, so Paki yeah. Seika. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, interesting swaps, but it's it's all the best to Samalani and all the best to Corn- Cornell Smith. Don't want to give his nickname now. It's not a nice one, I think. Uh, but, uh, 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 huh? Rakas want to know what is Cornell Smith's nickname? <laughs> give it. I don't think. Spill the beans. Huh? Spill the beans. Copper. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, all the best that side. Um, I Let's know it's gonna be. Uh, is he gonna enjoy it? No, no, Pretoria will definitely enjoy uh, it. The environment, uh, no, no. as you know, everybody okay. that's played for the Bulls love it there. Okay? Mm. So I'm sure he's going to thrive. Mm-hmm. And maybe the change of scenery might we'll be good, good for his yeah. career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agree. Yeah. Sometimes change is good. Um, we felt that in, when we made the changes to go overseas and stuff. And um, yeah, hopefully the same thing for Samalani as well. And it wasn't, oh, it's heartbreaking to see that the Ruan and Nail got injured and that's maybe why they, he came down, just to fall to that 13th position. Um, you know, because I, I still have my boots, it's still clean in, in the locker room, but ah. I, we'll not get there. Um, but okay. yeah, yeah. Let's so quickly let's, talk about it. Mm. I know we want to move on to, to the review quickly. Mm-hmm. I quickly want to talk about that swap. Um, is the Storm was a good fit for, for Samalani? What do you think? Um, and obviously he hasn't played in a while. He hasn't will played that, in a while, will yeah. That, will that... Um, I not hurt him, but um, for the Stormers, they obviously desperately need centers right yeah, now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, what do you think about that swap deal, for me, especially for the Stormers? Yeah, for me, I think it's it's we need a little bit of experience right now because we st- still got Sasha that's that can play we cover twelve. We got um, Suleiman that can also can cover thirteen. Um, they haven't had a lot of time in those positions. Sasha maybe a little bit more, so he's got a little bit more experience. And when it comes to the thirteen position, we, uh, the way he plays and the way he's going to fit in with our counter attack and our ca- uh, um, Type of play with Mani and and Warwick, I think will fit in easily when it comes to maybe adjusting to the defensive system and stuff like that because he's used to with the Lions, it's a different defensive soft. system. It's a bit soft. Same with the Bulls yes. as well. So that's maybe a um, department that he needs to adjust or maybe learn quickly before um, he, he gets going. But I mean, the tournament is already halfway through, so uh, it's it's a quick learn for him. But I I think he will do he do will do good. He the one thing like that obviously. F- a lot of boys, and I don't want to say that he's in the same boat mm. as him. Guys who've, who've, who've fallen out of favor maybe with yeah, a coach yeah. or a union has come down to the Stormers and resurrected their careers. 100%. Um, We've seen it with a lot of guys. A lot of Even guys. Like, you know, it big is, names now as well. As Mani. Yeah, it's Mani. It is Leland Zas. It is Achiva De Amani. It's a lot, a lot of, of boys. So I'm thinking with, he probably made that move with that in mind. 100%. Fresh start, mm. Cape Town, Tabletop Mountain. Um, Sometimes you have to go where you get that love, that piece of belonging. And if sometimes people, if he feels like he doesn't get the opportunity and he doesn't get that value in, in playing every week, and obviously the guys that's playing 12 and 13 has probably been good or something happened or injuries, a start or fresh start, a new chapter, new new um, uh, vision and stuff for him, it was maybe good for him. Um, so Yeah, I, I just really hope the Bulls didn't, Slip up on this one, mm-hmm. be totally honest with you, because he's a talent. Yeah, you understand, and um, and he's still young, I think. Yeah, so it's this, this still lot young. to learn. And like the two of us know, the one thing you need and can't go without is time on the mm. field. Yep. So hopefully, hopefully we'll, we'll get, get it time. Yeah, there's down a spot. Oh, yeah. Yes. So it's going to be interesting to see, especially with this massive game coming up against Sale Sox. What will they do, especially in the midfield, especially the Stormers? Um, what this new changes? What the injury of Ruan Neal that's been in fantastic form? So. There's a lot of things to, to check it out. But also in the same boat, um, will Cornell Smith fit into to your structure? Because I see, obviously it's kicked chase for years now, but now they're oh, moving oh. about a little bit. Oh, and easy. I just want to find out, what do you think? Because they've, they've opted with um, with Kirill now, who's moving the ball a little bit. Cornell's got the same, and he can bash it up. 
Will you in the I'm going to be totally honest. Eh? Mm. I've, 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 I've you still have Corne- uh, Cornel Hendricks. You still have like, I don't Mapo. know you still have Cornel Smith as well. Mm. I haven't seen enough of him. Okay. You understand? So I can't have an opinion on someone that I haven't seen mm. enough playing play, a lot. Yeah. Playing a lot mm. of rugby. That's so why that, I made the move. Yeah. So I think the move, him and Samalani are in two different boats. Mm. I think. Samalani needs a fresh start. He didn't have enough opportunity down in Pretoria. Yeah. The move Same. didn't work out for him. Same for, for, for Cornell as well. You understand? Yeah. Cornell mm. is a young guy. Mm. So he just needs the foot in the door. Yeah. Hey, it's okay. Opportun- he's he's Menzi. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's good. It's good. It's good to see. I mean, um, hopefully they'll take the opportunities and hopefully they, they'll get some game time. Perfect. That's, that's what you need at the end of the day. And then, partner, we had a lacquer game this weekend. Mm. A lacquer local derby. We yeah, had the, yo. the Sharks, Talk Hollywood bet Sharkies down there mm. in Durban. Facing at home, 20,000 people, almost 20,000 people against yes, the Lions. Against the Lions. No Springboks in the Lions team. Full strength Shark team. Mm. Let's get cracking. Oh, World Cup medals everywhere in the Sharks team. Let's get 20,000 people. As you, as you said, the elephant in the room. Elephant in the room. Talk about a situation the Sharks is in. Because um, for me, there's, there's, they've got Springboks everywhere. They've got a good squad. They've not wasted money but the budget is big enough to get good players in for me personally I think the Sharks playing incredible good rugby they're just very very unlucky in certain stages they don't know at this moment they're not sure how to turn the knife because the same thing against uh, the Stormers as well there was opportunities for them to bury us put us away same thing with the Lion the 18-3 up with the first 40-50 minutes yeah. it's time to turn the knife and bury them and then discipline creeps in into your uh, discipline in, in between the tens, they kick you into your um, 22, more try, more try, yellow card, and it's, it's a different story. I like the way the Sharks are playing at this moment. I'm going to be real honest with you. I think they, they, they something away from being brilliant, but I don't know what that something is. I don't feel like you need a squad of 45 players. There's a lot of players. The players that's playing at the moment is guys that's starting every week, every week, every week. So the, the next 20... When are they getting an opportunity? And when they do get the opportunity, a lot of the time, they're selfish. Not selfish in a way, but also in a way of, maybe we should show, show the coach. Hey. But, but partner, I know you're talking about the, the next 20. Mm. They had the opportunity. They had lots of opportunities. They, they, they played six games before the Springboks came back, right? Mm-hmm. The, the guys, obviously, the fringe guys, the, the, the NPS, as we always say, mm. the non-playing squad members, they had the opportunities. They had the opportunities. Um, but so that, 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 not a lot. I just feel like when it comes to a tournament, when you play 32 games in a season, um, you need to use your whole squad. And I'm not too sure what the culture is. And I'm pretty sure, and I feel for a, a, a coach and a director like Neil Powell. I mean, I played under him for a very long time. So he's the director. He's obviously overseeing everything. And when it comes to culture, he's brilliant in that, how to get people together. But I, I'm really not sure what's happening behind the scenes. And if you look at the Sharks, you think about, uh, is, this, is the Springboks performing? They are pre- performing. Even yep. Etzebeth is in fantastic form. you got guys like Grant that's scoring some tries. Fantastic form. Mampimpi. You know, he's got more good games than, than bad games. No, he's consistent. So, so the Springboks are showing their worth. Even it's a bit, especially. I'm looking deeper than the game. I'm looking at the unseen That's works. What, and I actually wanted to talk to you. I know you said Neil Powell was good at the sevens, mm. right? But it's a different ball game now. It's a different ball game. Now he's got a, a bigger squad. Massive squad, it's, yeah. It's, it's, mm. it's egos. I don't want to say the boys have got egos. Don't get me wrong. But I'm saying it's strong personalities now. It's World Cup winners. Yep. It is, it's, it is younger boys who have been told since 18, 17, 16 years mm. old, they are the, um, yes, you want, mm, yes, you mm, So mm. now it's a it's a different type of player, I think, than the boys that at the sevens. I might be wrong. No, yeah, 100%. So it is very different. It's easy to to manage uh, 12 guys, but to manage a 45-man squad is, is a different story. I don't know really, I we're not in the squad at the moment, so we can't we're say. We're speculating. Yeah, 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 what's happening. But, but, when it comes to playing and how the guys are playing, they pl- for me, they're playing some great rugby. But it's it's not the 80-minute performance. It's like, um, let's let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's okay, we've got it in the bag. Same with the Stormers, same with um with the, the Lions this weekend as well. And it's it's not good to see us. And, and everyone's gonna come for them, knowing they've got a big budget of of money, knowing there's there's springboks everywhere. Um, everyone's they've got a target in the back and they need to step up as as soon as possible. That can only happen within the squad. They mustn't 
go in the corners now, you know, oh, yeah, groupies, groupies, create that groupies, groupies. They must sit down, senior players, the spring box, sit them down, guys, what is the next chapter? Let's put that stuff behind us. Obviously, another great results in, in the Challenge Cup against the Cheetahs, against the Stormers, against the Lions, but what's the plan forward? And that's where the senior players need to step up and, and a lot of the um, coaches as well. But yeah, hopefully they, they'll fix that as soon as possible, but we can't take credit away from the Lions. To fight like that. Yes. Sanele. I, I actually, I don't want <laughs> if you watch the game, the Lions mm. were actually not really good. They, the first half, not not really. No, they were, honestly, I, mm. I, and that is, I don't want to say my frustrations with the Sox is, yeah. um, they obviously left the door wide open the whole time mm. for for the for the Lions to come in. Um, Sanele obviously had a brilliant moment at the end of the game where they scored with a mall try and he, and he slot the kick, which yeah. was a hell of a present. And the, and the, buzzer, yes. the young man, the young man has got star quality all over him. Yeah. And he's looking fantastic he's, in the fly off. I don't know. He's looking fantastic as a 10, but you know what the critics and the people are gonna say again. What? Ah, oh, he's a nine. Ah, oh, he's too small. But he's doing a job. It you, you know, you I know, know the story. No, you, you spot on. Mm. They, they will all, and it has always been. First, mm. you, you, you're too small. Then you have to prove people wrong. And then you're fine to play yeah. international rugby, okay? But he's given an opportunity at the Lions. So it's time to, to, to keep pushing him. If he's doing the job and he's, and he's standing out as a top one, two, three flies in the, in the country, it's time to, to have a look. The one thing I'm, I want to give the Lions a lot of credit mm. for is, hey, you can see that they, 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 they obviously Settled don't squat. have... Settled squat. They don't have super. I don't want to say they don't have superstar. They got, but they don't have spring box. Mm. So they all stay within a certain plan. Yep. Last year, uh, Maneki was, eh? So, uh, yeah, don't so, yeah, don't mm. so there's no one doing his own That's thing, going out of structure. Outside, yeah. He's looking from outside. So if they can hang in the game for as long as possible, they give themselves a really good opportunity yep. of getting something out of the games. They've got fight, and that's where when it comes to fight, that's where brotherhood comes in, fighting for each other. Yes. I don't want to say like there's no brotherhood in other places, but I, I mean, if, if you got a guy that's not doing, a team that's not doing well for the first 30, 40, 50, and you still come through strong at the end, it just shows the brotherhood. Okay. Um, that's just what I feel, but it's the Lions is, I mean, they're building something strong. Um, they've yeah. signed this guy for three, years. I was just about years. to say they signed the whole team. What, what, that means, uh, listen, yeah, we got a four-year plan, yeah, and we're not buying other people now. We've, we've chosen our squad now for the next three, four years. And um, we'll stick with that and hopefully we can make something work. Not this season maybe because they're building, but the f- next f- and the following seasons, yeah. And and for the people in Joburg, um, if there's any ruckus in Joburg, mm. but go, go and watch. There go and watch ruckus. the Lions. Mm. Um, let's, let's give the boys some cheers and some clappies yeah. and some people in the stands. Mm. Everybody wants to play for someone, okay? Mm. No one wants to play for himself and his yeah. family. And don't look too far. Yeah, you stay in Joburg, why not? Mm. Don't. Yeah, and kick the man. Yeah, it's been quite a, over December, New Year's. But yeah. So it, is, did we cover everything, Sox? Yeah, 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 Are yeah. you happy? I, I, I think so. It's just Anything all, on your we'll, heart, we'll, though? We'll, no, we still have to see what's going to happen. I don't want, I'm not the guy that, obviously, we're not in the camp at the moment. We don't know what's happening. But from the outside, that's, at, they're the only ones that can fix it. They must stick together. They mustn't go in the corners now. They mustn't go and like, ah, oh, the season is over. The season is not over yet. I mean, you got to fight yourself out and hopefully they can still make the top eight because they, they want to play the Investic Champions Cup. You never know. You can go on a run of six, seven, eight, nine games. I've seen it before. So we'll have to see what the future holds. Okay. Um, mm. I don't think I'm as optimistic as mm. you there with the top eight. Um, but I think they can play better rugby, obviously. They obviously they're playing personally, good rugby for me. But they're not getting the results. The result. Yeah. Okay, Ale Fati Pai is Ale Fati, yeah, they don't turn the knife. Yeah. But yeah, we'll have to see what okay. the future like. Yeah, and then exciting moving on to eh? the yeah. crack of the games of Investic Champions Cup. Yes. The Bulls and the, and the Stormers, but the Stormers are playing against these boys. Hmm? Robbie. Uh, Robbie. Robbie the Priya. But let's first get to Robbie. Okay, then, then we, we go can to the game. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> up, <laughs> yeah. up next, Robbie the Priya. Priya. Oh, Paige, was it for Obutani? Hey, hey so Obut, <laughs> Dupri, hey, live with that, like Robert. Welcome to Behind the Rack, brother. Welcome, Robbie. Wow, welcome, hey. Nice to see you. How's things? Very good. Mm. Play on Trek in the Motherland to be us. Yep. Thank you that I can be us. Yeah, yes, it's fantastic. Hey, Trek by the ice. We get the sun in the air, 35 degrees. You must be a little bit, hey. But why is why is all the Cape Townian boys? Coming to play the Stormers in Cape Town. I don't know. How, how is the stars know. aligning? And, uh, I, <laughs> I'm not too sure. Eh? Uh, 
Het is soms when you go back home, you're like, ah, they chased me away. Misschien moet ik hulle wees gewoon wat klaar zoeken. Oké, oké, oké. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Robby, dus quickly as well, man. You've been away for a couple of years now. How's mm. Manchester been? If uh, everyone been settling that side? Yeah, I think uh, it's been it's been pretty good. It's cold, mm. very cold, wet. Summers aren't like the summer. Uh, so it's nice to get yeah. back. Um, myself and the brothers have settled very well. We've all got married whilst we've been there. All had kids whilst we've yeah, been there. Yes, so um, so uh, yeah, this is so like we're settled. We're now about five years there. No, a year and it was a passport. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Nice. And to us, all the options were pretty good. So it's been five years. Five years now. Five ja. years, yeah. Jeez, yeah. Nee, van stormers, you're like some sharks too. Yes, yes. And then, yes. So, mm. and them as well, the brothers. Yes. Mm. Yeah. You wanted to get him on, eh? But uh, we don't have enough mics. Hmm? Yeah. The tweeling. Hmm? John Luke, then don't worry about it. <laughs> well, next time we'll get you guys on here. Eh? Yes. <laughs> it's important. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Robbie, and then mm. obviously, um, let's let's start let's start with your life in in the mm. UK. Mm. Um, what was the main reasons for moving that side? Was it purely rugby? Was it family? Was it a change that you needed? What was the main reason for moving? Um, I always wanted to move when I was around 26. En toen man het so uitgewerk dat mm. ek 26 was en ek het mos op een loan deal gegaan eers, vir drie maanden. Oh, yeah. um, so I was there on a loan deal after, after we won the Curry Cup against Province. Yeah, I remember um, in the yeah. Mm. yeah. So then, went on a loan deal for three months and JL came out two weeks later also on a loan deal to mm. us. And then, they offered us all three contracts. Package, and um, package, package, package deal. Package, um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's always something that we wanted to do or that I wanted to do. Mm. Um, and to be able to have got my brothers on board and all of us go to the same places mm. is pretty cool and special. So, yeah. That's nice, yeah. Keep it in the family, keep it here. <laughs> and, huh? and, and obviously staying five years there mm. at sale means you guys are happy there. Oh, obviously, I'm assuming. Yeah, no, we are. We definitely are happy. Um, the team's really good. We're in a good space. Mm. We've ons from where we was to us oorgegaan het en waar ons nou op pad teen is. Ek dink, die club is in een goeie plek, ons families is happy. Wat het mm. makkelijker maak is, there's, what, there's six South Africans and we've lost yeah, three. Yeah, so, yeah. dit maak het, lot die ja, vir sonne, pak het baie makkelijk. Um, and, obviously, being my brothers, having them there is, is also it's easy. So, easy, we get yeah. to be with each other every day and that makes it a lot easier. And then my parents come out quite often. They, I listen in Italy, I live in Italy, so it's it's quick for them just to come over. Yeah, and the family's growing there as well. I mean, um, I think it's a year or something ago, you had um, Romy um, yes. that was born. Uh, Claudia's doing <coughs> well and expecting another one, eh? Is hey. it, eh? Yeah. Huh? It's, it's, it's cool, though. Something it's, in uh, the water. <laughs> 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 it's the grey weather, guys. It's the rainy weather. There's something in English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excited yeah. for that new chapter? Yeah, yeah. so number mm. two, number one stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when you it. when you're away from home and you don't have family, mm. it, it is that's that's a challenge. Um, but Claude has been amazing. Um, having number two now will be another shock to yeah. the system. But we are looking forward to having a little boy, so we're really excited for that. Mm. Um, yeah, we can't wait. And Manchester is nice because nice and big. So obviously you've said you've settled in nicely. I'm um, talking about the sales sucks. How's the um, the union or the uh, the team been? Um, I mean, you've got stars everywhere on that team. Um, how's the squad looking and has, has the boys been, been good so far for the season? Yeah, I think we, we got off to a really good start. I think we've got a very good squad, um, mm. quite a deep squad um, with some youth that are very, very good. And mm. then we've got some experienced players like Manu, George Ford. We've got yeah. some really experienced players. And then we've had players that have been at the club for their whole lives. Well, Sam uh, James, he's, he's played 200 games. He's only 26 mm. or 27, 28. Marlon Yard still there as well? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Mm. Um, yeah, so uh, the team's in a good place. I think mm. we, we are, obviously we played in the final last year. We want to go one more. Mm. Um, I think we, we've definitely got the squad to do it. So, but, uh, obviously two games in a row for and the league is so condensed yeah. because we've lost three teams. So those players have all just dispersed into 10 teams now. So it's very, very competitive. I think if you go look at the log, Mm. Ninth place is on 28 points. Mm. Top of the log is 36 or 7 or whatever it is. Mm. So it's very, very tight. Mm. Um, which is good for the game, I guess. Obviously, it's sad to have lost your old club yeah. and yeah. Worcester and London yeah, Irish. Yeah, games, yeah. Yeah, mm. but it's, it's very competitive at the moment. Mm. 
So it sounds yeah. like a blessing in disguise. Obviously, I know you would have been unemployed if you stayed. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. I apologize. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> but Robbie, I actually wanted to ask, and and I'm a big super rugby guy, um, mm. big fan of of, mm. of the competition. It's obviously finished now, and I wanted to ask. You've played in both now. You've played Prem, you've played the Heineken Cup, and you played Super Rugby. What for you when you went over was the biggest difference <coughs> in the Super Rugby structure and playing in Prem, especially as a fly off. Yeah, it's it's by fish, it's by yeah. Um So it's harder to unlock defenses. I think you've you got to have more mm. structure to unlock a defence uh, on attack. Whereas in Super Rugby, it's very quick and off the cuff. Mm. And it's, the it's action, yeah, yeah, it's like, it's very reactive and it's a lot quicker. Okay. Um, this is what Axel said. Uh, a lot of emphasis on on kicking in, in the north, mm. especially with the weather. Mm. Um, that, that would probably be the main difference is the speed of the game and, and the physicality. Mm. It's very slow, yeah. It's yeah. a slower type slow of game. Slow and yeah. attritional mm. set piece. And, and as a fly-off, I know obviously for, for all these positions, obviously I'm not playing anymore, but for mm. fly-off, is that more responsibility, especially playing in the Prem as a fly-off? In the season-making, basically. Uh, game management-wise, yes. It will be on the nines and tens. Um, a lot more of those kind of decisions to be made, whereas... As you know, he was an adult, Mickey Mier, Joué. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Razzle, dazzle. Mickey is Joué. So, yeah, they're, 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 in that aspect, there'll be a lot of onus on, on the nines and tens mm. to make better decisions. Fun is not, so you can't even find your 20 and a half speed. You've got to play smarter, yeah. Yeah. And you, I mean, you've got senior players in that team that makes some good, smart decisions. You've got George Ford, especially you, like a. A flyer first um, mm. prime position. So, yeah. how's it like learning from him first of all, and even competing with him as well? Because um, I see you can play <laughs> outside centre as well. Uh, if they, yeah, if they need you. Yes. Luckily, nobody stole my shit. No, since Forty's come in, he's, mm. he's been he's been brilliant. I think he, the way he speaks, the way he gets messages across, unbelievable. The way he sees the game is is really mm. good. Um, so it's been it's been nice playing alongside him. Really nice playing alongside him. He yeah. makes it easy mm. for. For his outside backs and his yeah. forwards, and I think as I get there, things will as it. I know what the team will have for some. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it makes it easier. I think please. there's no as nice some two different type of players there on the field, mm. um, and then if you've got like a guy like Manu in the middle, that can sandwich in the middle that can get go, go and hit hit people is on for some. It's like yeah. it makes it easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, and and Premiership as well now for you guys at the moment losing two. Mm. Um, what was what's the feel like in the camp? Uh, you would say. And um, yeah, is it, is it always the coaches taking? Because I see you've, you've also got a lot of players from WASP as well that um, joined you guys, like mm. um, Sai McIntyre, um, um, Tommy Taylor, and also the coach. No, yeah, I'm not too sure, but there's a couple of guys that joined you. How is the, the camp at the moment leading into investing now? Yeah, I think good. I think the belief is still high. Mm. Um, the message after the game was two, two bad games don't make us a shit team. Yeah, 100%. So, uh, like, the belief is still really high within the team. Two weeks before, or three weeks ago, we beat the champions, uh, Saris, at home. So, that like, to beat Saris is unbelievable. So, yeah. um, we've not lost sight of, of where we're going and, and the belief's really high. Um, what's nice is we come into this competition, we come to the we come to the to the Maandagse meeting was obviously dalk ook pikkie beter mm, as wat okay. ons nou in die reen in Manchester gesit het, verstaan? Ja, ja, ja. Ja, so dit is is a bit exciting om teen die stormers te speel, my ou span. Mm, yeah. Ja, first time, right? Ja, ja, ja. Well, since I've been at the Prem. In yeah. the yeah. Prem, yeah, obviously. Mm. Uh, played against him when I was at the Sharks. But. And, and voel het so bikkie weird om, die so van Engeland nou, and you're traveling to South Africa to play a rugby game. Voel het so bikkie weird. Yeah. Yeah. I like it, it's nogal school. Okay. It's fun. Ons is gewoond aan super rugby travel. Mm. Yeah. And that was nice. You go away for four weeks yes. with the team. You're together 24-7 for four weeks. It's nice. Yeah. Um, this is in and out. This is like, yeah, but it's still, you've got a week at least mm. where you're together for a week. It's for 80% of our team, it's new to them. It's new, yeah. Cape so they Town. love it. Cape Town's beautiful. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. The sushi is good. Yes, the course is good. It's just... Yeah, they like... No, the stark, so... Uh, mm, they've always uh, tell me, oh, I was Cape Town, eh? Mm. That's... I've always told cheap, you this. I've cheap, always cheap, told cheap. you this. Yes. That's why Thomas has got a, such a good record at home. Because I was the same when I played for the Bulls. <laughs> hey, I'm going to be hey, honest to the Rangers. Excuse me. Yelanti and Yesdang Sakanir Waterfrontu. 
You go to what, what, what's the spot where you can have the sushi man in the waterfront? Uh, Willoughby's. Willoughby's. Mm. While in Pretoria, you're having capitals oh, run, everybody's making plans. Yeah, we see us with a line of by Willoughby's. I'm going to go to the forum. Okay. <laughs> so line. that is why I'm, I told you that's uh, why the storm has got such a good record because mm, I was the same. Relax. You're telling the people to relax. Yeah. No, they don't come here focused. It's lucky. Okay. Slug <laughs> <laughs> slides, baby. Sorry. It's lucky. <laughs> but um, are you guys. Obviously, Heineken Cup, I don't know it that well. You two know it really mm. well. Investec <coughs> what Champions is Cup. the... Investec, sorry, Champions I apologize. Cup, yep. What is your ambition as a club in this competition? Um, yeah, th elke club gaan alles wil win wat hulle speel. Mm. I think at the moment it's to get through to the next stage and then you take it from there. Yeah. See where we're at. Be on pool and what we call in your playoffs as we here, Mark. So uh, that'll be the ambition is get through the stage... And then we take it from there. See where we're at in the Prem, I'm assuming. When it's moeilijk om twee competities te run ook. Je ziet baie van die Spanners speel, zwakker Spanners, as hulle sê nou moeilijke guy met en hulle verstaan. So, ons, ons, ek dink wil vir het gaan. So, we put out the best team that we have. Oh, to go for it, yeah. Yeah, verstaan. So, nou heb ek sal lekker wees. Exciting, ja. Quickly, Pat, ek het baie vraag. Ja, ja, jy krek al. Quickly, Robbie, you guys are obviously well planned and thoroughly planned, especially the sports science department. Is there a plan for the heat that you guys are going to do in the week? Because obviously that will be the first thing that I would be worried about. Not worried about, but... It's, it's a seven o'clock game, eh? Yeah, the game is 7.30, so that's my... But I mean, you guys... What is, what is the, the what degrees did you guys leave at Manchester? Two, <laughs> that's three, a difference. Two, three, yeah. real field yeah. minus yeah. four. They're, they're up north, no, mm. north. You, see, you can't feel your fingers <laughs> when you pass. It's cool, huh? Where is it? <laughs> no, <Nota. laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys, yeah. seven o'clock, you guys will be fine. Uh, oh, we, should, we should be fine. Okay. I think for the training days, we are training before the hottest time of day. Okay. Mm. So, yeah. so oefening, I think, 12 feet is us clear. Met oefening, we have to go to the gym. Okay. But I see great in the gym. Fair enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, that's, that's, like, not yeah. nice. that's not nice. That's not nice. just quickly that's not as nice. well. So you're obviously in the squad now with a lot of South Africans, but it's always English players as well. What does the English players feel like with South Africa being in the tournament now from the domestic champions come, um, uh, joining us? And <coughs> also, what is the vibe like? Yeah, is, is it something they want to do? Is it something they want to go to Pretoria? Want to play? I think I think that someone will Pretoria to go. Mm. Uh, Only Cape Town and Durban. Cape Town and Durban. Then Cape. Yeah. Rudy's <laughs> body. That's it. That's it. One plus one is three. Okay. But I think, no, from our players, no one's really said anything bad about. It. I think again, mm. ours is lucky on Cape to come. So I'm yeah. just excited. Yeah. yeah. Have Let's South go. African teams mm. in because we're going to Cape Town. Mm. But no one did all it's slechter saying. I would say I think it's nice om om die South Afrikaners in die Komt in. Ik denk dat Marky komt niet sterker. Mm. Denk ik. Dat komt te zien eigenlijk, ja. Mm. Mm. Nee, 100% ja. En dan ook looking at the tournament at the moment. Um, you st guys still fighting for that position. You got your third game it's against the yeah. Stormers. And then you're going back home playing at home against the champions, defending champions. Yeah. So how's the next two weeks looking for you guys? Is Investing Champions Cup a focus for you? Or are you guys more focused on making the playoffs for the premiership? I think both. Mm. Um, like, I think we are in a good position at the moment to, if we pick up a point here, a point there, uh, pick up a win out of the next two, then I think we should be able to go through. So yeah, the focus is definitely to to go hard at both. Mm. Uh, the teams we're putting out shows that, mm. I think. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but the, uh, maybe if it comes later in the comp and, and we've started slipping down the prem, I don't know. I don't, mm. That's not my decision to yeah, make, yeah, is yeah, it? Like, yeah, you see... Just Take what comes and yeah, focus ma, on the important things. Maar niemand speelt ooit om te verloren anyway nie. So, yeah. But ook al hulle uitzet, jy wil yeah, gaan so bend. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, we see a lot of B teams and stuff like that, they win, especially when they go overseas. But um, I mean, it's good to see that you guys <coughs> focus on a Champions Cup. You focus on a Premiership, which is, which is a very, very good thing. It's mm. I think that the, the difficult part is probably for our South Africans to understand it. 
and I know you've played the five, mm-hmm. so you've you've grasped mm-hmm. the whole idea <coughs> of beat not B teams, but sending players to different games and targeting. Team, yeah. and mm-hmm. Like for us South Africans, we're not used to it. Mm-hmm. When we mm-hmm. played Super Rugby, as any kisser see, you go. Daddy, daddy, Franz Lurke didn't select me this weekend. Yeah, yeah. You understand? You, you're upset yeah, yeah, because yeah. you want to play every single game. And I think for a lot of people that are watching, South Africans that are watching the URC and the mm. Heineken, I think we still need to get used to the fact that certain teams and certain coaches plan and select certain games that they want to win or that they feel like one point is enough, is good enough for them. Yeah. Just yeah. getting a bonus point yeah. or losing bonus yeah. point. So maybe from a South African thing, I think we just need, and that's me included, we just need to get used to the whole targeting yeah. and the we, resting and selecting stuff. Yeah. We just, never, but we never played two comps at the same time, did we? Mm. So, understand? It was in Manet Super Rugby and answered Karikab Yes, yeah. yeah, you focus on one thing. Understand? But yeah, it's four games, two weeks. Investing two yeah. games, four weeks. Is you'll too and it and it hot cold hot cold. We will get used to it. We will get used <laughs> to it. It's like it's your best yeah. funny best act. Yeah, yeah. I also I love it. I, yeah, I think I as you as you cake no soccer works is how they they play three different comps, four mm. and another two works twelve. Well, I'm, they have to. I mean, sometimes they play three games in seven days. Mm. I'm pretty sure the All Blacks in Super Rugby are jealous. Is it jealous? Because all the strength is, is up north and with the South African spice, Burevorsi. What do you think? Burevorsi is <laughs> making it very nice yeah. up there. Uh, we're adding definitely some flavor yeah. to that. Um, I must say, it's good to see, <coughs> I think, our public. And I, obviously, mm. the box had something to do with it. But our rugby, I don't want to say healthy, but there is people are in love with the game again in mm. South Africa, Rob. Mm. And I, you can actually pick it up in conversations, especially over the festive season. Our people, are, as we have a leaf of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as we have mm. a leaf of the storm, Mr. Cake, and it's good to see, yeah. It's good to see, yeah. Hey, so, mm. so, but I really think there is a love for the game in, in the land that lekker is. It's very lekker om I'm a proud to have a spill of storm. Who is this? Mm. X, Y, Z. So mm. it's lekker. Mm. But it's nice. Yeah. Because I think he's right. I think the bokke was massive for that om dit te uh, renew, net die nieuwe energy, mm. en dan, ons het ook nooit oor hierdie tijd gespeel nie. Yeah. We never ever yeah, played yeah, over the festive that, season. Uh. But nice is a Boxing Day game, of a New Year's yes. game. It's eindelijk nogals nice. Yeah. Mm, I think it's nice as for me. Act yeah. like it. Huh? It's nice as, 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 as a, a fan, fan, it must as be as unbelievable. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, as a fan, yeah. it must be unbelievable. Yeah. But December is December. Hmm? Yeah. We will but celebrate. It's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, but December here is lekker. Yeah. Oh, lief, it was lekker, Rob. Yeah, just quickly. Career for you moving forward. When mm. you in the 30 club, obviously um, turning 31 this year, what does the future look like for Robert? Um, is, is sales our premiership the way forward? Because a lot of the times guys go overseas, they come back home, you know, play because you obviously played at the Stormers, you played at the, um, mm. at the Sharks, the Urban Sharks. What's the future look like? Or are you going to raise a little? I, get, um, so I think it's moeilijk om ons kunnen zo groot te maken. Is it's a different culture. Mm, um, well, there's nothing wrong. It, n- nothing wrong with that culture. It's just we've got family here, and it helps here, and it's easy here. Uh, there, we you're quite alone if if you were to raise your child there. Um, I've got this year and another season on my contract, and then mm. we'll see where we're at. Then I'm 32. Um, I think my brothers have a year on top of that. I think mm. if we can stay together for another year, that'll be brilliant. Um, if that's not possible, then I'll move yeah, on. But yeah, there's no buy for him to say. Yeah, before I ask my next now. question, mm. I know there's a team in Durban, Rakas, that um, needs a fly off. Hey, I'm not going to elaborate okay, okay. on that. Uh-huh. They are struggling, they a bit on the. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay. I'm going to <laughs> stop it. Ravi, mm. then, then looking at your rugby specifically over the mm. past five years, I know you were very close last year to getting a call up. There was a lot of speculation mm. around your form and will Rashi give you the call? Um, a lot of the guys that's been on our show has said once they left South Africa, it felt like their rugby improved. Have, has it been the same for you? Mm. Has it, did it feel like you were a bit more. I don't want to say relax. What is the right word? But there's not that I have to play well. I We have to win. That mm. sort of feeling. Has that been the th- same feeling <coughs> for you? Uh, it, when I went over, I, I had a very good spell and then went through a dip, like benched a lot, probably didn't play some mm. games. So like I did have that dip where I wasn't really playing well. And then, yeah, last year was a really good year for me. Um, what's not, it's different. In, in, in England, I find that if you have a bad game, you'll never get a fan... Mm. Bad mouthing you ever? Yeah. Like I, I, I don't think I've ever, reason. I don't think I've ever had anyone DM me and say, "Yes, cock." Uh, yeah, 
Als je bij stormers of bij sharks een kak game, dan laat weer het vuur verzonnen. Ik was al bij Nieuwland afgeboe. Ons het in die boerland gespeeld, Caribbean kreeg ons amper verloor. Toen ik afgaan, toen klappen we nog handen of zoiets. Verzonnen is. It's a different culture. Also, Ek, ons is in Manchester en ons compiet met mensen die in Man United so, Niemand ken ons al nie. Mm. Verstaan? Ja, je kan walk around. Je kan maar net gaan doen wat je wil. Um, but rugby-wise, I wouldn't say less pressure. Okay. But maybe a little bit happier. Mm. En as jy happy is van die veld af, dan... Not that I was unhappy. I was never unhappy at the Stormers. Mm. I was never unhappy at the Sharks. Uh, maar... That's just what comes with the yeah, SRAG. Ja, yeah. want jy is... Ja, hier, as jy hier rondloop, gaan mense jy ons nou ken en... Mm. You're a superstar, yeah. Yeah. There, no one really is cares. Is yeah. They say no, but Exeter is Exeter is honest. Exeter, mm. it's a rugby mad town. Gloucester's a rugby mad town. Bath, rugby mad. You you might get mm. what you would get here. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't know what the spring box and stuff. Huh? It's what do you, you you got any ambitions to play again? Oh, I'd love like, I'd love mm, to play for mm. the box again. That's never okay. something I'll ever not want to do. Yeah. Um, and if it happens, I'll be mm. so grateful and so happy to do it again. Mm. Um, I guess all I've got to do is just keep performing yeah, yeah. and keep focus. knocking. And if I keep knocking in on the door, on the door hopefully that comes. It mm. will always open. Yeah, for sure. Big believer. As you good enough play, I can't let you. I could play, but I can't let you play. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd love to add to my. Six minutes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I never Where I was charged down twice. <laughs> yeah. uh, looking at this weekend, playing against one of the Springboks, um, uh, at the current Springboks, mm. um, you excited uh, for this weekend? And especially if you maybe have an opportunity to play then? Yeah, I think um, playing against a guy like Marnie, he's been brilliant. He's been very, very good. Mm. Uh, I think he's, he took the box to another level, the mm. attack. He really yeah, has. I, I really think he brought another mm. dimension to, to their game. Um, and he's a big player for the Stormers. Mm. Um, I'm really excited to to play against my old mm. team and and link up with some old mates and see Dobbo and Darby yeah, and Norman yeah, and all yeah. of them. Uh, Norman actually called me on the way the, back. With the coaching uh, staff yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah mm. So uh, it's like come full circle, and, mm. and I'm excited to put my best foot forward on Saturday. I think it's going to be a great game. Yeah, we're looking forward. To yeah, day. excited. Super excited for that. Got a very mm. good team. Flip on who you're scoring the corner, gang, I'm still in it. just joking. Hey. Jeez, Robbie, thank you very yeah, much man. for coming out. Yo, uh, it's, it's fantastic to catch um, up with you. I mean, uh, our supporters, our viewers, our rockers would always want to know what's happening that side. Is the boys happy catching up with you guys? And you've, you're doing fantastic work at, um, at Sales Sarks, you know, taking it forward and your regular starter. And I mean, the knowledge you pick up there. Hopefully you can bring it back if you do come back. And just all the best with the season ahead. All the best for this game this weekend. Um, go hard, but mm, check on that. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Uh, yeah, to and send to the guys to the family, to both yeah. your brothers. We'll do, I will. Please. Yeah. yeah. Bye, thank you, man. Yeah, say for the, the, the stool is beskikbaar. Yeah, say for 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 the stool is Thanks. It's a great man. Bye, bye, thank you. Thanks, Rob. Yeah. Nice to catch. And that's Rob. Yeah. Partner Rob de Preer. Hey! Yes. He looks happy. He sounds happy. He's excited oh, actually, for this weekend. Buddy, mm? um, I actually forgot how big he is. Mm? He's a big boy. Big He's a boy. big lad. That's why he plays 13. Mm? Mm. Luckily not in Cape Town. De Preer's, you know, the Abri Pates, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. Good shout. Good shout. Okay? A little bit of a shout. He didn't give any of it to me. Okay? But yeah. very interesting. Mm. Very interesting, yeah. Um, his thoughts and especially the camp as well. Uh, he's, like you said, he's enjoying it. He's got a lot of South Africans there. Um, Aaron van der Rijn and the boys, his brothers is there. Uh, the way he's starting his family. And and even we speak to, especially when it comes to overseas and premiership in England in top 14, it's it's relief. Not relief in terms of they're enjoying it. It's just like there's no too much... Freedom. F- there's a little bit of freedom. Freedom. Mm, there's freedom. the word. Freedom! Huh? I apologize, So yeah, it's going to be a crack of a game this uh, Saturday. Hopefully when he plays fly off and playing against the, the Springbok in current Springbok, then he can show what he has. Hmm? He can show what he has. But yeah, then now we're moving into the big... Let's go to the games, my brother. Whoa, Let's go. It's showtime, eh? It's about ah. that time. It's investing Champions Cup again. Hmm? Okay. Let's take it all in. Take it all in. Take it all in. Yes, partner. Hey, 
De Rijnsrouwen is oud. Je moet de, de Krasidaki, was het Krasidaki? Krasida. Krasidaki bij Rijnsrouwen uh, uh, oud. Okay. It's Investing Champions Cup. Wat fixtures doen de Zoutafrikaanse teams? Let's go through the fixtures there, real quick. Um, starting, we're going to focus on important t- two teams. Obviously, that's okay. playing from South Africa into the Investing Champions Cup. It's your boys and my boys. Okay. Hmm? First game, especially starting with your boys. They're playing up first. Bristol against the Bulls. And that is on Saturday, quarter past five. Okay. Mm. Interesting one. Hey. Bristol is coming off a massive and a great win. Um, against Sale. Uh, against Sale. They played each other um, last last week. And um, yeah, with the Bulls on a break. And the Bulls, the 23rd of December, um, that took that knock. You remember? Hmm? You remember? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, thoughts on that game, eh? Will the boys be up fresh? Will they be cold? Will they be rusty? What's your thoughts on that one? Um, I'm actually going to address the elephant in the room because mm. I can see you want to talk about the 23rd of December yes, game yes, when the Bulls this thing. lost against the Stormers. So, to all the Rockers that have been asking me constantly over this mm. holiday period what my feelings was about that game, obviously, I'm still hurt. As all Bulls fans yes. out there, we are hurt. Okay, we feel it. It was two long weeks of the Stormers parading around like they were champions. Okay, yes. so we're going to go to Bristol and we're going to settle it. We're yes. going to turn the boat around and we're going to make sure we get onto the winning ways. Okay, okay, How okay. Like so I think that's that nice. I like that, yeah. Okay. Did you enjoy the seven up drink that I bought you in, in holiday in December? Seven up? Se- seven, seven. Okay, okay, okay. We, we, we'll be, be that as it may. Wow. <laughs> be that as it may. But yeah, we'll catch you guys on the 3rd of March, eh? And that's, um, hopefully we can be there. Um, looking at that game, you, you think the Bulls will get over that one? Especially playing away? Will they send a B team? I, I don't think they can. Hmm? But no, honestly, obviously the Bulls were very lucky that they had an extended break. Mm-hmm. Unlike the Stormers, the Sarkis that obviously played over the, the that New Year's um, yes. weekend. Our guys had a break. So I think looking at the at the table where we Bristol are gonna come out because both are on five points. Mm. Okay. Let's just cover that pool pool. So um, obviously then pool one as well, yeah. Um looking at the pool, they they there's pool citizens and bears at five points. No, we have to send out we have to send our best team. Um we, we even if we just get one point out of the game, mm-hmm. um obviously that will make a big difference in the bigger scheme of things. I know we got Bordeaux uh, the next week at yes, home. Yes, and that's the last chance, yeah. Yeah, so we, we, you can't leave it for that game because Bordeaux is looking really good. Really good? Yes, they, the boys, yeah. they got a fantastic team as, as Maxim Luca at 9. Mm. It's Matthew Zellebe at 12. I at like 10. that surname, Zellebe. Um, they mm. got um, Damien Pino mm. at the one wing. They've got an all-star team, Bordeaux Bagler. So we can't leave it for that week in Pretoria. We have to gonna go to, mm. to Bristol um, and it? get some point. Mm. No, it's important. And Bordeaux is Bordeaux Bagler. Burglar. They, they, come, they come here to burglar, right? That's five points. <laughs> so so that can be not even can see. And Bordeaux is top of the lock. So and obviously um they they want to stay unbeaten. And uh, when they come down, they so so you're saying they must go strength to strength both weekends? I I honestly believe so because there's a period in February where mm-hmm. there's no URC games or mm-hmm. Heineken Cup games where we can rest spring box or big profile players. So I think we must target the month of January. I, I honestly think the Bulls, um, we obviously had a disappointing game against the Stormers the 23rd. Yeah. It was unlike the Bulls season. Mm. So I'm not worried about that game. I'm not worried about the Bulls. But looking so at the Bulls... So the Bulls pulling Bulls, that one through? I, yes. Okay. I think the Bulls have big ambitions this, this year. I don't agree We have with the you. right squad. Mm. Um, yeah, you can I, say, I, say I, what I, you want to say. In my opinion, I think the, the Bulls are going to send a, a listering team over and they're going to fall short against... Uh, the Bristol Bears, because the Bristol Bears is looking fantastic for them. They've got some good players. Um, so you want to start Akitawa. this year like this? Yes, I'm starting it like that. i got to okay. be honest. i got to tell the Rockers okay. what I think. So I think um, that's what's going to happen. And then I've got a massive one against Bordeaux next weekend. Hmm? And then we move to our team. Are you happy with that? So you're not happy with that? So you're backing the Bulls? Uh, of course. I'm backing, I'm backing the Bears. But there's, there's issues in the... In studio, okay? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the team of our guest, hey, the other sharkies. We took care of the Durban Sharks, and now we got Sale Sharks against the Stormers on Saturday. That's um, half past seven. Interesting one. I think the Stormers will be too strong. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the Stormers has turned the season around completely. Yep. Um, I've been, you know, I've not critical, but I was quite worried in the beginning of the season about the Stormers. Mm-hmm. But Mani has come in. Yes. Uh, Damien Vallas yes. came in. Um, and and they've looked completely different. Yeah, so agree. Yeah, I, and I, that Bulls game, it just we just I don't want to say turn the corner, but we looked good. I mean, uh, we were team backs against the wall, 
And you know I what think, South Africans do? I really think the Stormers just have the Springboks in the right positions, mm. in the season-making positions. You guys have um, Dion Fury as a fetcher. Yeah. So he makes most of the decisions at every breakdown for the Stormers. Mm. Then you guys have Mani at 10, which is steering the team mm. like a captain of a fishing boat has yep, been on, yep. the, on, the, on the sea for ages. Then you have Damien Willems, uh, that is probably the most talented yeah. rugby player that I've seen um, in a hell of a long time. Mm, He's a generational so talent. Um, that And for those three players alone, they make such a big difference yeah, in the agree, Stormers team. Agree, agree. You with me? Yeah. So, and I feel like there's also a little bit worried about Ruan Nell that was in incredible form that's that's got injured. So he's not going to be there. Hopefully Warwick will come back as well with Clayton Blomick is also out injured. Shasha, hopefully Shasha's back. Um, that can fill in help if we need to maybe put Damien at the back and him at 12. And um, yeah, and hope, hopefully there's not too much injuries. Uh, especially in the squad I, I, have a, begin. I have a dream, Ruckus, mm. that um, the Stormers will select Warwick Galant at 13. Mm. Uh, that's just me. Have you, yeah, we've seen that thinking. before. Yeah. Uh, we've seen that 20 years ago, you said, eh? Something like yeah. that. Mm. Um, but that was just me having wishful thinking. Oh, we'll see what's going to happen. They've got some Alani there, so hopefully... But, we'll, we'll but honestly, um, partner, not... Um, it is a fantastic, talented backline that the Stormers are currently sitting with. Mm. I know you guys have injury struggles and, and you guys are worried. Also. But as backs though, mm. there is X Factor in everyone from Ursula mm. Yankees to Paul DeVette Speed yeah, to Mani yeah. Lebok to Agreed. the center pairing Leland Zas, which mm. I think um, he is very underrated. Mm. Um, I think he is so close to being a springbok. Yeah, yeah. He is as solid as a rock. No, he never makes... He is His error rate is so low. Mm. Honestly, if you watch Zas play, his error rate is incredibly low, yeah. which I love about a wing. Mm. He obviously solid, has, solid. He's, he's solid, he's solid yeah. and he's got the finishing ability. No, so I totally agree. Yeah. Just looking at Wow, I spoke poof. very nicely about the Stormers yes, now. Yes. Sorry. I like that. I love it. Sorry. It's a new year, new you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love to see it. Keep okay. cracking on. <laughs> pool four quickly. Um, yes. It's also a close pool. Looking at Some number mouth, three at sale. Four, Stormers at fourth. Uh, st- um, La Rochelle also. They've got two more games to try squeeze in there in the playoffs. So um, and Leinster and, and Leicester is also looking good at the top. So we're playing obviously Sale Sarks now uh, this weekend, and then we've got um, going away start Francais in French. If the Stormers obviously pull this, this one is important, through, yeah. yeah. If you guys win this yep. one, then you can you guys can rest a few players going to 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 Paris. It's, um, yeah. For sale, it's also a very important game. Mm. It's important for everyone. It's everyone, it's, 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 and especially looking at, the pool, eh, looking at this pool, eh, partner. Looking at this pool, it's those two top Leinster, and Leicester. Oh. Yeah, no, it is. It's honestly, it's like yeah. KFC on on payday as fall, mm. as fall, as, as fall. fall, as fall. So, um, so yeah, big weekend for Stormers, Book big weekend for, for South, South African South rugby African teams. Yeah, um, talking about uh, South African teams, let's go to the other boys. Okay. Mm. Yeah, totally. Challenge Cup Wikis. Uh, let's make sure we cover that. The Sharks is playing Oyanax Saturday at 3 Oyana. o'clock. Oyana. Oyana. Your different yeah. teams. Yeah. Oyana as powers, powers. Is, uh, I'll get there. Oyana. Get there. Oh, Oyana. Good. Yes. Okay. So they were promoted from the Pro de Deux, the mm. second division last year. So the Sharks shouldn't have any issues. There should be. <laughs> We've seen this honestly, movie. I've seen this movie. There should Don't be, use those words. There should be can no issues with taking care of Oyana. Hopefully they can turn the corner. I think we that, that should be a big corner. scoring game. The Sharks should take all out the, all of their frustrations out of them. And so we're going Sharks. Yeah, I'm definitely. I'm happy to join with Sharks. Definitely. There's with no the Stormers in the sales Sharks? Or? No, sales Stormers. I'm going Stormers and we go I'm Stormers. I'm going to go Stormers by 12 or 15 let's points. Let's back the South African teams. No, no. So I didn't back the Bulls, but let's back the South African teams. No, no, I'm <laughs> backing. I actually think the Stormers have turned the, the corner. Mm. They, they, they... Sharper. They did, they're sharper. The mm. December month that they, they got all of that incredible victories okay. was for me the worry. So they're going to, I think they're going to do by plus 12 or plus 15 over the Sale Sharks yeah, yeah, yeah. from okay, Manchester. Cool. Mm. And then the Sharkies from Durban should have an easy game against Oyana. Hopefully they can pull that one through. And then obviously the Saturday late night game, 10 o'clock. It's 21 games this weekend. Investic Champions Cup and the Challenge Cup, 21 games. What's going to Alice Kiki? What's going to Alice Loss? What's going to Alice Loss? What's going to Alice Loss? Yeah, you're going to Alice Loss. Yes, and it is. <laughs> yeah, and then we look at that 10 o'clock game. Uh, Montpellier, Lions going away to Montpellier. Playing them at 10 o'clock. Oof, nothing to lose for the Lions, partner. Nothing to lose. They, 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 the, I'm the, actually excited they, just they thinking buzzing, about yeah, it. They're, they're buzzing. buzzing after this weekend's game. And Montpellier yes. is, look, is last in the top 14, so they're not looking good as well. So even they though it's probably, a big they, they probably not care too much about this competition, yeah, knowing yeah, that they yeah, have yeah. to fight for, re- for relegation yeah. in the top 14. They focus on top 14. So are we going to... 
Back to Lions. Lions. What? Ah, the Lion King is alive. Samma, you Mufasa. come this, huh? Here we go. And then also the next game, we got the Cheetahs against Pau. 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 Uh, I'll get there, partner. <laughs> Episode 200 is still far. Pau. Pau. In, where are they playing? They're playing in this new stadium in Amsterdam. So yes. it's Cheetahs home, but Cheetahs away. Amsterdam. That's their home. What 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 is happening with the cheetahs? Is we'll we'll get to that, Rakas. We'll cover that. Um, it's not fair, mm. but I've obviously played there for eight months. The one thing about the cheetahs is they'll make it work. They'll make it work. They'll and they find have to make it work. a way to win that game. Yes, and that game is on Sunday. It's a Sunday game at three Lovely. o'clock. Uh, you see, that is a nice time. Mm-hmm. Sunday afternoon, lunchy, lunchy. The kids are just playing in the, around in front of me. I'm watching the rugby. Great game. I'll definitely Great be game. supporting the Cheetahs. Okay, let's go. Hawk Frey start. Poe's po also a very good team. Yes, they got Sam Whitelock. Sam Whitelock, 149 All Black caps. That's obviously leader. They've got Dan Robson as well that played with me. That's also f- um, playing. That played for England as well. There's Scrum a couple off. of yeah. There's a couple of good players that that came from the Premiership. That's also playing that side. So in terms of a squad, and they're looking good on the top 14 as well. Yes. Right? They're sitting pretty. They're sitting at number six. So it's a good test for Cheetahs. It's a very good it's test. It's a really good test for the Cheetahs. Um, they've had some excellent results so mm. far, beating the Sharks um, and, and that sort of thing. Mm. Really good test for the Sharks, uh, for the Cheetahs. And that should be a fantastic rugby game. Uh, yeah, agree. So the people in the Netherlands. So we're going Cheetahs. Yes. We're going Cheetahs. Yeah, back to Cheetahs. We're back, back to Cheetahs. Cheetahs. People in the Netherlands, they, they must come up. Support our South African Support, teams. Support, fill up the stadium because it's going to be a crack of 21 games where we are only going to focus on that five games, eh? is it? 100%. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the, is that the Ranger over? Uh, yeah, clear. that's some fantastic Two rugby. Two more weeks, we're looking forward to it. Um, mm. I would like to see the Bulls bounce back, obviously, and I would love to see the Stormers continue what, with what they've done in December. Mm. Um and I must say now, the kids are almost back to school, guys. This week, I know it's tough at work. You, mm, you, mm. You, you're you struggling at lunch. You don't want to be there anymore. Um, some of us, as, as January, we mm, might have switched January. off the, mm. Zem, uh, the DSTV for a little bit, just until the end of the month. But behind the rack, you download it, it, it ooh, at yes. work. Mm. And then you watch it at home. You watch it at home. And that's Thursday, 6 p.m. Yes. It must be part of their routine. It has to be. It's Part of the routine. They must look at this calendar, clear your calendar. You're like, Mm-mm, where can I fit this in? Okay. Is it Thursday? Is it Friday? Is it six o'clock? You find that hour and you slot it into your calendar. Huh? Niemand mag your plan. It's not, you don't watch uh, 20 minutes now in the 20 minutes there ah. in the 20 minutes. Finish up. Get alles up. Finish up, 60 minutes, get in there. Okay. And what Make must sure. they do? Hmm? They must always like, like share, share, and, and subscribe. subscribe. Please, and guys. Tell your friends, hey. Yes. And, and watch it episode on episode. And to all the rockers that that obviously mm. over the festive season that that came up to the two of us and showed us love, Ooh. guys, thank you so much. Honestly, lifter, lifter, the support lifter. that you guys have given us is a show. Um, we truly appreciate it, and, mm. and and we're looking forward to building a great show together, all to- of us together, rockers. Mm? Huh? Alma, yeah. I'm Sam. I say, mm? liefde, But before we finishing up, uh. let's get to the beauty moment of the week. Check it out. We're ready to rise. Some of them started cheering only to see that the kick was missed. Oh, and put a Chamberlain. It's tough. Even Cash Van Royen. He's money this season. The Lions on the rise. They had two games in hand. They've got one game in hand now. They're chasing down eight spots. Oh, beautiful. People, if a, if, 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 if a male gets emotional, hmm? yes, you can't even feel Oscar Neil, hmm? there's nothing yeah, wrong. Yeah, incredible We can I... cry. Fantastic win. Yo, um, with the buzzer. Last minute. Huh? BMT, fantastic. Um, there's obviously been a rivalry between the Lions and the Sox over hmm. the past years. It's players swapping in and out. So you could see there was a lot on the line. Incredible. And they were quite passionate about getting that victory. 100%. So yeah, I love that moment. Yeah. That was Beautiful stunning. That's a great way to start this year. Yes. Hmm? Hey. Let's, let's, let's bulk it up. Let's bulk it up. Let's hey, go. guys. So just make sure. Hey, guys. They must also cover the previous episode. Wait for Nikki. Incredible. Oh. It's incredible. The stories and the, the stuff that came from there. I mean, every teenager that's in sport, that's doing sport, must watch it. The parents must tell the kids. Go watch, watch it. it. Go watch There's it. a lot of good learnings clear, clear out of that episode. And chup, chup, chup. clear the rock. Who? Yeah. Chup, chup, chup. Clear hey. the rock. Chup, chup, chup. Clear hey. the rock. Uh. Chup, chup, chup. Clear hey. the rock. Hey. Hey, stop, there no, we stop. go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, hey, partner. Uh, incredible episode. Yes. Hey. Guys. I'm, 
I'm Juwan De Jong. I'm Rudy Peitz. And the rack is clear. clear.